Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is second class on sets chapter. In last class, we learned the definition of a set, we learned representation of a set, and we completed exercise number 1.1 problems. In this class, we will learn what is empty set, what is finite set, what is infinite set, what is subset. Subset definition is very very important. Please spend some time to understand subset concept. After that, we will learn what is the definition of equal sets. With this knowledge, we can easily do exercise number 1.2 problems. Without much delay, let's begin the class. Now, we will learn types of sets. In types of sets, first we will learn about empty set. Empty set is also known as null set. And it is also known as void set. What is empty set? A set which has no element is called empty set. A set which has no element is called empty set. Empty set is also known as null set. And this null set is denoted by like this phi phy phi r. We'll write just simple empty brackets and we won't write anything here. So we will learn about empty set. What is empty set? A set which has no element is called empty set. Null set is denoted by phi are simply we'll write only brackets we won't write anything in between them and we'll try to understand this null set with an example you observe this example collection of months in a year which are having 32 days we know that in a year 12 months are there you please tell the months which are having 32 days you please tell the month which are having 32 days we know that we don't have any month which is having 32 days so collection of months in a year which are having 32 days is a null set because we won't find any element in this set now fourth synopsis in this sets that is singleton set what is singleton set a set having only one element a set which is having only one element is called singleton set for example you see this is the set having only one element we say that this set is a singleton set because it is having only one element. Now, fifth synopsis in this sets is finite set. What is finite set? A set which consists finite number of elements is called finite. A set which consists finite number of elements is called finite set. We'll try to understand this with an example. You consider a set A like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many elements present in this set? Finite number of elements or infinite number of elements? Finite number of elements are present. So this set is known as finite set. And we'll take uh, one more example. Collection of all ovals in English alphabet. What you will say about this set? This set is a finite set or infinite set? We say that this set is finite set because it is having finite number of elements. How many elements are present in set B? Five elements are present. So what is finite set? A set which consists finite number of elements is called finite set. Important note related to finite set. Empty set is treated as finite set. So you need to remember this. Empty set is finite set or infinite set. If someone asks, we need to say that it is a finite set because it consists no element, right? So empty set is treated as finite set. Infinite set. What is infinite set? A set which consists infinite number of elements is called infinite set. A set which consists infinite number of elements is called infinite set. We can understand easily this with an example. I'll consider collection of all natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. All the natural numbers. How many elements present in set A? Infinite number of elements present in set A. That's why this set is known as infinite set. Similarly, if I consider collection of all prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, like this, like this, collection of all prime numbers is a finite set or infinite set? You observe here, how many number of elements are present in set B? 
finite number of elements or infinite number of elements infinite number of elements present in set b so these are the examples for infinite set we will learn what is subset we will learn the definition of subset few examples to understand subset and five important points related to subset first we will try to understand what is the definition of a subset let a comma b are any two sets you consider two sets a and b if all the elements present in set a that means every element present in set a are present in set b all the elements present in set a are present in set b then a is called subset of which is denoted by a is subset of b we'll try to understand this with example you observe here i consider a set a is equal to 1 2 3 now i'll try to write all the subsets of a uh, i'll consider a set like this you observe all the elements present in this set are present in a yes this set contains one element that is one that element is there in this set yes so this a1 is subset of a similarly you observe this set a2 all the elements present in this set are present in a yes so this is subset of a all the elements present in a3 are present in a yes so this is subset of a i'll write few more subsets of a you observe the set a4 this set contains two elements 1 2 all the elements present in this set are present in a yes so a4 is a subset of a yes a4 is subset of a here few important points you need to observe empty set is treated as subset of every set you observe here this set this is the empty set is empty set is subset of a yes we say that empty set is subset of every set you need to remember this point empty set is subset of every set now i'll write one more that is a eighth set you observe this set is it is a subset of a yes of course all the elements present in set a8 is present in set a so every set is subset to itself you observe here whatever the sets i written here all are subsets of a now we will learn important note related to subset first point you see whenever a is subset of b whenever a is subset of b then b is called superset of a you observe this a1 is subset of a yes the set a1 is subset of a here we say that a is superset of the set a1 i hope you understand if set a has m elements then number of subsets of a how many subsets we will get for set a we will get 2 power m subsets for set a you observe here how many elements present in this set three elements present how many subsets we will get 2 power m here m is 3 2 cube is what 2 cube is 8 so here how many subsets we got for set a we got eight subsets for set a So what is the second point related to subset if set a has m elements then number of subsets of a equal to 2 power m this is the important point you need to remember and it is important point empty set is subset of every set please keep this point in your mind empty set is subset of every set next point every set is subset to itself every set is subset to itself these two points you need to remember empty set is subset of every set and every set is subset to itself last note related to subset if a is subset of b and b is subset of c then which is written as we can write it as a is subset of b all the elements present in a are present in b all the elements present in b are present in c then directly we can write a is subset of c this can be understood very easily eighth synopsis is proper subset what is proper subset if a is subset of b and a is not equal to b then a is called proper subset of b which is denoted like this you observe here i am not writing like this generally subset means we will denote like this but i am strictly subset a is just the subset of b but a is not equal to b then a is called proper subset of b we'll try to understand this with an example you observe the set s the set s is 1 comma 2 now how many subsets we can write for set s this we learn in subset 
How many subsets we can write for set S? As set S is having two elements, number of subsets of set S is 2 square. So here I written all the subsets of set S. You observe is A1 is subset of this set. We know that empty set is subset of every set. Is A1 is proper subset of S or not? Of course, it is a subset of S and A1 is not equal to S. So what we say here, this is a proper subset. Okay, you see this A2. A2 is subset of S or not? Yes, A2 is a subset of S. Is A2 is same as S? No. So it is satisfying proper subset condition or not? It is a proper subset. It is a proper subset. Proper subset of what? Proper subset of yes. It is a proper subset of yes. Yes, it is a proper subset of yes. And you see similarly, this is also proper subset of yes. And what about this A4? You observe this set. Is A4 is subset of S? We know that every set is subset to itself. So here A4 is subset of S because all the elements present in A4 are present in S. Is A4 is same as S? Yes, A4 is same as S. But actually what is the definition of proper subset? If A is a subset of B and A is not equal to B, then A is called proper subset of B. Here the point is it is a subset of S, but here the point these two are equal. So A is not a proper subset. It is not a proper subset. Now we will learn important note related to this proper subset. You observe here if set A has M elements, set A has M elements, then number of proper subsets of A. How many proper subsets will be there for set A? The formula is 2 power M minus 1. You observe here this is the set S. For this how many proper subsets we got? 1, 2, 3. 3 proper subsets. See here 2 square total number of subsets minus 1. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So if set A has M elements how many proper subsets we will get for set A? 2 power m minus 1. Cardinal number of a set. What is meant by cardinal number of a set? See here the number of distinct elements. Distinct elements means different elements. Present in the finite set. Present in the given finite set A is called cardinal number of set A which is denoted by n of A. We will try to understand this with an example. You observe here I consider two finite sets. What is the cardinal number of set A? Cardinal number of set A is denoted by n of A. The number of distinct elements present in a finite set. How many elements present in this set? In this set, three elements are present. So n of A, cardinal number of this set is 3. What is the cardinal number of set B? How many elements present in this set B? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 5 elements are present. So cardinal number of set B is 5. Now, 10th synopsis is equivalent sets. You observe here, it is equivalent sets. Equal sets is different, equivalent sets are different. What is meant by equivalent sets? See here, two finite sets A comma B are said to be equivalent. If cardinal number of set A is same as cardinal number of set B. We will try to understand this with an example. You observe the sets here A and B. What is cardinal number of set A? Cardinal number of set A is 4 because 4 elements present in set A. What is cardinal number of set B? Set B cardinal number is 4 because 4 elements are present in set B. As cardinal number of set A is same as cardinal number of set B. If cardinal number of set A is same as cardinal number of set B, then we say that the sets A comma B are equivalent sets. Power set. What is power set? The set of all subsets of a given set A is called power set of A. You observe here all subsets of a given set A. All subsets of a given set A is called power set of A. Power set of A is denoted by P of A. We will try to understand this with an example. You observe here I considered a set which consists two elements 1 comma 2. First, I'll write all the subsets of A. What are all the subsets of A? We know that empty set is subset of every set and every set is subset to itself. 
these two are the subsets of A. And you can observe that this set is subset of A. And this is subset of A. I written all the subsets of A. What is the definition of power set? The set of the set you observe here. I'll write set. Try to understand. This is the set. The set of all subsets of A is called power set of A, which is denoted by P of A. I hope you understand. You observe here, if set A contains two elements, its power set contains four elements. So if set A contains M elements, then number of elements in P of A equal to 2 power M. Suppose if set A is having three elements, then power set of A contains 2 power 3. That means eight elements. I hope you understand power set. Now, 12th synopsis is universal set. What is universal set? Universal set, a set which consists all sets are elements. Please try to understand. A set which consists all sets are elements under consideration is called universal set. Universal set is denoted by U. We'll try to understand this with an example. You observe here, four sets are there. Set A contains elements from 1 to 9. Set B 3 4 6 7. Set C 1 9 7 6 3 2. Set D 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. You observe here, we consider four sets. Under this consideration, a set which consists all the elements or all the sets under consideration is known as universal set. Which set is known as universal set for given sets A, B, C, D? We, which set we treat it as universal set for these four sets? You can observe the set T. This is the set which consists all the elements under the consideration. You observe the set D. All the elements present in A are present in D. All the elements present in B are present in D. All the elements present in C are present in D. So what you identified? The set D consists all the elements under consideration. Therefore, D is the universal set in this consideration. What are the definitions you need to know to do the exercise number 1.2? First one, you need to note the definition of null set, which is also known as empty set. And you must know what is finite set, infinite set. These definitions we already learned in theory part. And you observe here, here they are asking which of the following is finite or infinite. You need to know what is finite set, what is infinite set. And finally, you need to know the definition of equal sets. When we say two sets are equal. This theory we already learned in uh, theory part related to exercise number 1.2. If you know the definition of null set, finite set, infinite set, equal sets, then you can do this exercise very easily. Let's see first problem. What they are asking in this problem? Which of the following are examples of a null set? In this, total 4 bits are given. Let's see solution of each and every one. Okay, you observe this first question. What they are asking? Which of the following are examples of null set? Okay, you see this first bit. What they are asking? Set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2. They are asking set of odd natural numbers. Actually, odd natural numbers means they are not divisible by 2. But in this what they are asking? Set of odd natural numbers which are divisible by 2. You cannot find any odd natural number which is divisible by 2. What is meant by odd number? A number which is not divisible by 2. So odd natural numbers divisible by 2 means we cannot find any such number, any such odd number which is divisible by 2. So what I can say here? I can say that it is a null set. Which is a null set? Set of it is a null set which is null set set of odd natural numbers which are divisible by 2 because odd natural numbers are not divisible by 2. You cannot find any odd natural number which is divisible by 2. That's why this is a null set. Now see the second example set of even prime numbers even prime numbers even prime numbers in prime numbers the only even prime number is 2 is prime and it is even 
this is the only prime number which is even. So if anyone asks to write this set, I'll write like this. You observe like this. Actually, this set contains one element. This is not a null set. What is the definition of null set? Null set means a set which consists no element. Here we are getting one element here like two. So set of even prime numbers is a null set or not? That is the question. Which of the following are null set? That, that is the question. This is not a null set because this contains an element two. So what I'll write here, I'll write that it is not a null set. It is not a null set. Why it is not a null set? Because in this set, one element is present. Even prime numbers means like this. This is actually singleton set. A set which consists of only one element is called singleton set. So this is singleton set. This is not a null set. Okay. In third example, students will confuse very easily. You see here, x is a natural number. Okay. x is less than 5 and x is greater than 7. Here and is there x is less than 5 and x is greater than 7. Generally what students think 6 is there, 6 is the natural number but if, it, if I take in place of x, if I take 6, 6 satisfies this condition you see, you see here, 6 is less than 5. Is it correct? Actually 6 is greater than 5. This is wrong. 6 is greater than 7. Is it correct? Actually, 6 is less than 7. So, 6 doesn't satisfy this condition. Then you think what are the natural numbers which satisfies both the conditions? You think which natural number satisfies both the conditions? Think. Suppose 8 you take. 8 you take. 8 is less than 5. This condition fails. 8 is less than 5. No, actually 8 is greater than 5. You take here. 8 is greater than 7. 8 is greater than 7 is correct. But they are, what they are saying here, x must satisfy both the conditions. The natural number which must be less than 5 as well as greater than 7. So if we think there is no natural number which is less than 5 and greater than 7. So what I can say here, yes, it is a null set. Yes, it is a null set. I hope you understand this. Now, see the next bit. What they are asking in this bit? Y says that Y is a point common to any two parallel lines. <clears throat> Suppose if we take two lines like this, here, this is the point which is common in both the lines. Okay, here what they are saying, Y is a point common to any two parallel lines. You know that parallel lines they never intersect you look here if the parallel lines if the parallel lines are like this where they will intersect if they are parallel they never intersect when they never intersect you don't get any common point in both suppose the lines are like this intersecting lines then there will be a common point but if the lines are parallel where you will get the common point what they are asking point which is common to two parallel lines so we cannot find any common point in parallel lines. So what I can say, I can say that it is a null set. That's it. First problem is completed. Now we'll move to second problem. You observe which of the following sets are finite or infinite. After reading the question, you need to decide the set is finite set or infinite set. Okay. Look here, the set of months of a year. In a month, how many years are there? It is very clear that in a month, in a year, 12 months are there. In a year, 12 months are there. Clearly, it is a finite set. If I write roster form of this set, what you will get? January, February, March, like that, up to December. Total 12 elements will be there in this. Number of elements in this set are finite. So, what I can say? I can say that it is a finite set. It is clear. It is a finite set. It is a finite set because number of months in a year are finite. It is a finite set. Okay. You see this one? 1, 2, 3 and so on. By seeing this set itself, we can easily say that 
this set and so on is given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like that so clearly we can say that it is infinite set okay you observe this third bit uh, 1 2 3 and so on 9900 is there can we say it is an infinite set because of and so on is there no in this set clearly we can say that 100 elements are there finite number of elements are there so what is this it's a finite set or infinite set clearly it is a finite set because we can say how many number of elements are there in this set so it is a finite set you observe this set in this set how many number of elements are there so we cannot say here how many number of elements are present because it's an infinite set clearly this set is finite set so i written here it is a finite set okay uh, next fourth bit you see what they are asking the set of positive integers greater than 100 the set of positive integers greater than 100 so what are the positive integers greater than 100 101 102 103 104 if you keep on writing like this so many numbers you will get all these are positive integers greater than 100 so if i write in set form it is a finite set or infinite set we can clearly say that it is a infinite set right so set of all positive integers greater than 100 is a infinite set okay now you see this one set of prime numbers set of prime numbers less than 99 prime numbers less than 99 they are asking less than 99 clearly it is a finite set if they ask set of prime numbers greater than 99 it's different case right set of prime numbers less than 99 we can easily identify that set of prime numbers less than 99 is a finite set i hope you understand first question and second question in first question they are asking which of the following are null set what is the definition of null set a set which consists no element is called null set in second question they are asking which of the following are finite set a set which consists finite number of elements it is called finite set a set which consists infinite number of elements is called infinite set now you see question number three what they are asking in the question state whether each of the following sets is finite or infinite so whatever the given sets are there you need to decide are they finite or infinite in this total five bits are there let's see the first bit what they are asking the set of lines which are parallel to x-axis suppose if i take the coordinate system like this x-axis y-axis how many lines you can draw which are parallel to x-axis you can observe here we can draw infinitely many lines which are parallel to x-axis not only here here also you can see infinitely many lines we can draw which are parallel to x-axis it can be understood very easily that the set of lines which are parallel to x-axis is an infinite set it is an infinite set it is an infinite set i hope you understand we can draw infinitely many lines which are parallel to x-axis okay now see the second bit the set of letters in the english alphabet they are asking the set of letters in the english alphabet what letters are there in english alphabet a b c d e f like that up to x y z how many letters are there 26 letters are there in english alphabet now what you will say if i write in this uh, roster form you will get like this a b c and so on x y z total 26 letters are there it is a finite set or infinite set we can easily say that it is a finite set because the set contains finite number of elements so what we will say here yes it is a finite set this set is a finite set clearly it is a finite set okay now come to this one the set of numbers which are multiple of 5 the set of numbers which are multiple of 5 is just like a 5 table you see 5 uh, 10 15 20 25 all these are what all these are multiples of 5 
right so the set is finite set or infinite set we can easily say that it is an infinite set set of numbers set of numbers which are multiple of 5 is an infinite set so it is an infinite set okay it's so many students confused like anything in this set of animals living on planet earth in classroom whenever i try to discuss here students will confuse and here animals living on planet earth what you are thinking as per my experience many students will say that set of animals uh, on planet earth planet earth is very big so that number of animals living on the planet earth is also very big so that you will say that it's an infinite set but answer is not infinite set here set of animals living on earth is finite set why here planet earth is a finite set or infinite set this earth is finite or infinite this earth is finite planet earth is finite when planet earth is finite obviously number of animals living on the planet earth also finite even though the number is very big how many animals are there means that number may be very very big as planet earth is finite definitely number of animals living on the planet earth also finite i hope you are understanding suppose you take one glass of water okay you take one glass of water in that glass of water how many particles will be there particles how many particles will be there infinitely many particles will be there but when it comes to this glass as this glass is finite number of particles in that uh, glass of water also finite i hope you are understanding with the same reason when planet earth is finite number of animals living on the planet earth also finite i hope you got clarity in this so here number of set of animals living on planet earth is a finite set okay now see the next bit the set of circles passing through origin the set of circles passing through origin how many circles we can draw passing through origin let's try one diagram here suppose this is the circle in this circle here origin is there so I'll try to draw how many circles are possible uh, through this origin. This is the one circle I drawn passing through origin. Okay. I'll draw one more circle passing through origin. Okay. Check it. It is the one more circle passing through origin. I'll draw one more circle passing through origin. Right. Okay. I'll draw one more circle passing through origin. Passing through origin. Okay. You, you, you can see I'll draw one more circle passing through origin. This came like ellipse. Okay. Uh, we'll delete this one. Uh, something like this. This also. You can see there are infinitely many like this we can draw. We can draw infinitely many circles passing through origin. Here you can easily say that we can easily say that it is a infinite set. I hope you all understanding. These are not very very difficult things. These are simple things only. So the set of circles passing through origin it is an infinite set. Okay. Now you observe this fourth question. What they are asking in the following state whether a equal to b or not. That means they are asking the sets are equal sets or not. When we say two sets are equal, suppose A comma B are two sets are there. When we say A, the set A equal to the set B, first point, A must be subset of B and B is also subset of A. When both holds good, A is subset of B as well as B is also subset of A, then only we say that the sets are equal sets. What is subset in the beginning of theory we learn. Okay, however, we'll discuss here. Here you see first bit. The set A is given like this A, B, C, D. And the set B is given like this D, C, B, A. Now my question is, is A is subset of B? 
is A is subset of B. When we say A is subset of B, all the elements present in A are present in B. Here A is there. A is there in B? Yes. Okay. In set A, B is there. In here also B is there? Yes, it is there. Here in this set, set C is there. In this set B also C is there? Yes, it is there. Here D is there. In this also D is there? Yes. Clearly what happened here? Here A is subset of B. We know that this is the symbol of subset. All the elements present in A are present in B. Here A is subset of B. Now you check that is B is subset of A or not? D. D is present in B. D is present in A? Yes. C is present in B. C is present in A? Yes. What I am checking? All the elements present in B are present in A or not? That is what I am checking. B is in set B. B is there in set A? Yes. A is there in set B. A is there in set A? Yes. All the elements present in B are present in A. Then what I can say here? I can say that B is subset of A. Here A is subset of B and B is also subset of A. So I can say that the sets A and B are equal sets. Okay. Now we will move to second bit. You observe what these 4, 8, 12, 16, 4 elements given here. Now you see 4, 8, 16, 18. In this also 4 elements are there. Here we need to discuss about equivalent sets. Equivalent sets means uh, these two sets are equivalent sets because number of elements in both the sets are same. Equivalent sets. Equivalent sets different, equal sets different. Equivalent sets means equivalent sets means number of elements are same then we can say that they are equivalent in this set four elements are there in this set also four elements are there we can say equivalent sets but equal sets means what equal sets means a is subset of b and b also must be subset of a here you check that a is subset of b 4 is there in set a Yes, 4 is there in set B. 8 is there in set A. 8 is there in set B. Till here it is okay. 12 is there in set A, but 12 is not in set B. So what I can say here, clearly, clearly, A is not a subset of B. Here it is important. A must be subset of B. B is also subset of A. Both the condition must holds good. Then only we say that the sets are equal. Otherwise, we say that the sets are not equal. Here, first condition only fail. A is not subset of B. As A is not a subset of B, from this we can say that the sets are not equal sets. Here, by visibility also clearly we can say they are not equal set because the elements are different. Clearly, we can say. Okay. Now, come to this third one. Set A contains 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. When we observe the set B, this is given in set builder form, set builder form. What I'll do to identify the things are easily, I'll write this B set in roster form. Roster form means what? All the elements are listed, separated by commas within the brackets. I'll try to write set B in roster form. What is set B? X is positive even integer. What are positive even integers positive even integers 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 they are all positive even integers and they are saying that x is less than or equal to 10 that means less than or equal to given that means 10 is also included so what you will get here 2 4 6 8 10 these are all positive integers which are less than or equal to 10. Less than or equal to 10. So, if I write set B in roster form, you will get like this. Now, set A is there. Set B is also there. Now, we need to say these two sets are equal sets or not. So, what you need to check? A is subset of B first of all. All the elements present in A are present in B. 2, yes, it is there in set B. 4, it is there in set B. 6, it is there in set B. 8, it is there in set B. 10, it is there in set B. All the elements present in set A are present in 
set B. So what we can say here, we can say that A is a subset of B. A is a subset of B. And you check that is B is a subset of A. First I'll write here. A is subset of B. And I'll check that B is subset of A or not. All the elements present in B are present in A. Yes, all the elements present in B are present in A. So clearly here B is also subset of A. As A is subset of B and B is subset of A, then I can easily say that the sets A and B are equal sets. I hope you are understanding. Now you see this fourth bit. The set A is like this. X says that X is a multiple of 10. And the set B is like this. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now you observe are the equal sets. You see here in this uh, set B 15 is there. 15 is there in set A. 15 is there in set A. Set A is what? It's a multiple of 10. 15 is not a multiple of 10. So here clearly B is not a subset of A. Is it clear to you or not? Yes, for me it is clear. For you it is clear or not? Clearly, clearly B is not a subset of A. You observe as B is not a subset of A, here the sets A and B are not equal. You observe this question, are the following pair of sets equal? Give reasons. When we say two sets are equal, very simple. When A is subset of B and B is also subset of A, then we say the sets are equal. Both the conditions must hold good. Then only we say that the sets are equal. Okay, you observe this first bit. In this, one set is given in roster form and one set is given in set builder form. We need to say the sets are equal sets or not. Okay, set A is very clear what elements are there. 2 comma 3. In set B, what elements are there? Here, uh, X says that X is a solution of this quadratic equation. To find the, uh, I want to write this set in roster form so that I can easily decide they are equal sets or not. For that, what I'll do, I'll simplify this quadratic equation. I'll find the factors of this quadratic equation. I'll find the roots of this quadratic equation. x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. You just split the middle term, what you'll get? x square plus 5x can be written as 2x plus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. Now, in these two, we can take x common. Yes, you take x common. What you'll get if you take x common? x into x plus 2 plus in these two, you take 3 common. What you will get if you take 3 common? 3 into x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay. Now here x plus 2 is there. Here also x plus 2 is there. So you take x plus 2 common. What you will get? x plus 2 into x plus 3 equal to 0. Product of two terms is 0. Product of two terms is 0 means either this is 0 or this is 0. So here what I can write, I can write x plus 2 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0. So here x equal to minus 2 or x equal to minus 3. So what x is a solution of this equation. Na? What are those x values? x value is minus 2, x value is minus 3. Minus 2, minus 3 both satisfies this equation. So what I can say here, I can say right, I can write like this set B is minus 2 comma minus 3. Okay, so here set A is what? Set A is 2 comma 3. Now you declare now or these two sets are equal sets. Here A is subset of B. You check it. In this set 2 is there. In this set, the element 2 is there. The element 2 is there in set B? No. Clearly. Clearly, A is not a subset of B. If any one condition fails, then we can say that the sets are not equal here. Now, you see this one. X says that X is a letter in the word follow. And Y says that Y is a letter in the word OLF. Here, both the sets are given in set builder form. I'll write both the sets in roster form so that we can easily decide 
आर द इक्वल सेट्स आर नॉट ओके फॉलो इज देयर ना आई विल राइट ऑल द लेटर्स ऑफ द वर्ड फॉलो एफ कामा ओ कामा एल कामा यर लुक हियर एल इज रिपीटेड वी ऑलरेडी लिस्टेड द एलिमेंट एल इन लास्ट क्लास ऑल्सो वी लैंड दैट रिपीटेड एलिमेंट्स वी वॉन्ट लिस्ट अगेन एंड अगेन राइट रोस्टर ऑफ मेथड इज वट इन रोस्टर मेथड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स आर लिस्टेड सपरेटेड बाई कामर्स एल इज आलरेडी लिस्टेड इयर लिस्टेड इयर नो नीड टू लिस्ट इट अगेन ओके ओ लुक हियर ओ इज देयर ओ इज आलरेडी लिस्टेड इयर ओके नेक्स्ट डबल्यू ओके सो दिस इज लेटर्स ऑफ द वर्ड फॉलो आई रिटर्न सेट ए इन रोस्टर फॉर्म नाउ आई विल राइट सेट बी वॉट इज सेट बी the letters of the word olf right you list all the letters of the word olf w o l f okay now you observe that is a is subset of b is a is subset of b f o l w right all the elements present in set a are present in set b f is present in set a yes f is present in set b o is present in set a o is present in set b l is present in set a l is present in set b w is present in set a w is present in set b in the same way you can observe that all the elements present in set b are present in set a so here clearly what i can say clearly clearly a is subset of b and b is also subset of a from this i can say that these two sets are equal sets a equal to b now we'll move to next question this is last question of this exercise you observe here from the sets given below select the equal sets they are asking us to select the equal sets okay you see here a b c d four sets a b c d four sets these sets are having four elements okay and you observe these sets e f g h these are having a, a two elements so obviously a e are not equal a f are not equal a g are not equal a h are not equal because you need to identify a, from the given sets below select the equal sets okay in the same way b is not equal to a b is not equal to f b is not equal to g b is not equal to h because Um, in first four sets four elements are there next four sets two elements are there so best thing is we will find equal sets in a b c d and we will find equal sets in e f g h i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say okay first point is set a is same as set b look here a and b are equal sets actually in set a 8 is there 8 is not there in set b a and b are not equal now you look that a and c are equal sets or not a and c are equal sets or not you observe 14 is there in set c but 14 is not there in set a so clearly a and c are not equal sets okay you observe that a and d are equal sets a and d are equal sets here one is there in set d but one is not there in set a a and d are also not equal set what happened i taken set a i compared with b c d i didn't find any equal sets now what i'll do i'll take set b and i'll check with all other sets like a comma b we already checked right now set b set c are the equal sets in the set c 8 is there that is not there in set b so b comma c are not equal sets now you check for b comma d you look here 1 2 3 4 you see here 1 2 3 4 clearly we can say that the set b is equal to the set d b is subset of d and d is also subset of b that's why we can say that the sets b and d are equal i hope you are understanding now you take set c and a and c are clearly not equal b and c are also not equal you check for c and d c and d are they equal sets no in this set 14 is there 14 is not in d they are asking to select equal sets okay so 
now you come to this second uh, uh, in this all four elements are there na first set is there na uh, i didn't compare a is equal to e or not because i know that a is not equal to e because number of elements are different they cannot be same they cannot be equal okay right now you see e f are equal no e g are equal yes you observe here in this set minus 1 is there here also minus 1 is there in this set 1 is there here also 1 is there clearly e is subset of g and g is subset of f so here we can say e equal to g okay these two sets are equal now you come to f is f is equal to g no is f is equal to h no with observation we can see this now g g is equal to h no so that's all so i verified for every pair i taken a i taken f i checked they are equal or not i taken a i taken g like that i taken every pair and i checked are they equal or not at the end i got that b equal to d and e equal to g with this this exercise is completed i hope you understand this very easily